NASA's James Webb Space Telescope is the world's largest and most powerful space telescope. Today marks the second anniversary of Webb Science Operations, and what better way to celebrate than with a new stellar image of the universe? Yeah, an image of the universe. How about that? Here to talk about this new image and some of Webb's latest discoveries, NASA Director of Astrophysics, Dr. Mark Clampin. Good morning to you, Dr. Mark. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. It's a pleasure to be here. This is such a cool opportunity to show off this telescope, an incredible one for the record. James Webb Space Telescope giving brand new looks at the universe today as we celebrate its second year of science operations. So tell us about these images that the Webb Telescope is producing. So the image uh, that we're now uh, releasing today is known by astronomers as the pelican and the egg. And what you're seeing here is a very old galaxy uh, to the left, which looks like an egg, and it's interacting with a spiral galaxy. And the interaction between the two and the forces of gravitation have cut torn apart the spiral galaxy and are distorting it and pulling waves of stars and gas out of that galaxy and they're crashing into each other and triggering new regions of stars forming and that's why you see this you know really interesting appearance of the galaxy on the right so this is really exciting because this is a key step in how massive galaxies are formed through these mergers of other galaxies and I mean, it's two years now, and the James Webb Space Telescope has already revolutionized our views of the universe. Tell us about how revolutionary it is, period, to have these images in comparison to what those past telescopes were able to do and what your favorite findings are so far. Sure. So we built the Webb Telescope to look for the very first galaxies that formed in the universe. And we have already been able to see galaxies that uh, were present 300 million years after the Big Bang. And Webb is finding new mysteries as we start to see these you know, very early stages of the universe, because we're seeing a lot of galaxies that are much bigger and brighter than we had expected. And so the question is, why is that happening? And as we go forward and we do more studies of the early universe with Webb, we'll be able to understand some of these questions and really understand how our universe was born and how it has evolved. What's the future of this telescope? Because I know that they typically have lifespans. So what's the lifespan of this telescope? Uh, and, and how long is it expected to keep producing these types of images? So we were very lucky because the launch of Webb was perfect, which meant that we didn't need to use as much propellant to get to its final orbit, which is a million miles from Earth. And so we expect it can continue to operate for about 20 years. And that means that we will be able to continue to do lots of really amazing science, studying the early universe, studying how stars are born and how planetary systems form around them, and also studying uh, planets around other stars outside our own solar system, which is a very exciting field of astrophysics right now. I've also heard that, that the James Webb can work together with other telescopes to provide those observations. Is that true? How does that work? Yes. So each, uh, each of NASA's uh, big space telescopes provide us information at a different wavelength, whether that's from gamma rays or from X-rays or visible light. So a good example is that very recently we were able to identify a black hole in one of these very early galaxies by using the Chandra Space Telescope to provide us with um, X-ray data that indicated not only was this a very big and luminous galaxy that had formed you know, very early in the universe, but that there was a black hole at the center. And one of the questions we're studying right now is do these galaxies in these very early stages of the universe get big because they're being uh, you know, seeded or you know, fed by these black holes? Uh, back at home, a lot of people watching want to know where they can get these high-def images, maybe show the kids and the family here for the summer months. Uh, Dr. Yeah. Mark, where can people go to find more info and to look at all these images? 
So the place to go is the, the NASA website, uh, nasa.gov uh, slash web. And you can also follow the hashtag at NASA web. And you'll find lots of images and explanations of the science that these images are producing. All right. NASA's Director of Astrophysics, Dr. Mark Clampin, thank you for being with us. We appreciate it. Awesome work that your team is doing with that James Webb Space Telescope.